Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of April 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. What do we got? <clears throat> okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Two of Swords. Um... There's some energies quite uh, tangled up in here. There's this, I mean, this represents a little bit of frustration, potentially a little bit of um, being preoccupied by something here. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Hermit Cross by the Devil. Um, da -da 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 -da. I see you looking into things that are not necessarily the healthiest, you know, the greatest here for you. I'm not sure if it's your personal, like looking into yourself personally, or I do see a connection involved here as well. So maybe it's somewhat of an energy that belongs to the connection, but realizing, well, I'm part of it. So, you know, what's my contribution to it? Um, okay. In your focus, the Emperor. Yeah, that's where I see another energy potentially showing up here, tied up in this experience for you. In the recent past, the Five of Wands. That's a little bit of conflict there. In your strength, the Judgment card. I mean, you do have the ability to look at things from the perspective of, you know what, let's work through it, rather than, oh, oh that pisses me off. That, 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 that. Okay, whatever, you know, and moving on. Like nothing happened. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of telling me you're shooting from that angle where you're trying to kind of understand why things are happening in the way that they are and then kind of get to the bottom of it and just try to heal those things, you know, rather than just that. Eh. In the immediate future, the lovers, that's a connection that I'm seeing here to someone uh, supporting this reading, the justice card. Yeah, you want to work on something here. You know, you, you don't just want to, okay, there's something dysfunctional here. So let's move on. No, you want to work on something. If it looks like something's not feeling right, it's like, okay, let's let's dig into it, you know? Um, so you're trying to, to kind of balance things out rather than just leave things as they are. Uh, the energy that surrounds you at this point that you may not be aware of, the Two of Pentacles. Phew, this is an energy of up in the air. Um, you're giving me a sense of I don't know with this one almost like you're stuck like, yeah you're looking into something but sometimes we do get stuck when looking into something and we're like oh what the hell is going on i gotta i don't know what's going on you know so whatever it is that you're trying to potentially work on and heal here you might be a little stuck with it at this point in time in your hopes and fears the three of swords <sighs> this situation is not easy definitely quite a painful um work in progress kind of situation yeah uh, for the potential outcome the hierophant that's that's good <laughs> uh from what i'm getting for now uh that still shows the foundation of this connection kind of it's there you know one way or another it's there energetically speaking for sure it's pretty solid um let's clarify let me see the two of swords Ew. The Four of Cups, the Death card, the Nine of Swords. Wow. Uh, hold on. I felt a little bit of a sharp pain. And then it just went away. I'm like, where did that come from? Uh, but it's, I am looking at energies that have to do with the mind. So I'm not surprised. Um, yeah. Very, very uh, messed up kinds of energies. Very tangled very like if i just scheduled for example i just scheduled juno for because she's got some knots on her chest and i said i would do it but it's like okay it's getting out of hand this is too complicated i gotta call the professional so i just schedule her for a grooming session to just take that off but like like that 
tangled kind of knotty situation um, that might have happened for you in a potential situation here. Uh, it's not looking great. It's not feeling great. That's the thing. You're very upset. It does look like it. It does look like that complication of things has ended. Uh, but it still leaves you with a sour taste or something. There's still something. There's still like the the aftermath that you're dealing with. Um, ew. Where did this come from? Let's do the Hermit. The Nine of Wands, the Empress, the Seven of Pentacles. Alright. Uh, and this is something that you're looking into, but there is some resistance into getting deeper into it. So let's say, let's say you are dealing with something unhealthy, right? And um, you're very determined to take care of it, to heal it, to look into it, to be like, okay, what is it? Let's open it up. The minute you open it up and see what's in there, there's a little bit of this side here. No. We'll just work with this side, you know? So that's your resistance into, no, you opened it up, it's all in there. You got to deal with all of it. You can't be like, I'll deal with you later or, you know, like selectively going through, no. So there's part of you that's rejecting part of what's going on here for some reason. Um, it does look like it's it's just not pretty to deal with, but I feel like it's it's part of the whole though. For the devil, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Alright. <clears throat> There's this... I got a feeling of the Seven of Cups. I know I didn't get it before because it's the same deck, but I still got a feeling of the Seven of Cups. Almost like wanting to walk away from it. Because it's too much to look into, too hard to look into, too ugly at times to look into uh too complicated and it is it is i'm seeing the energies and i'm like yeah it's a lot i don't know what this is about but yeah it's coming through as a lot uh and you are at that moment in time where let's say you're still there where you open this up and you push that to the side and you're like i'm dealing only with this but when it comes to dealing with this you're kind of stuck you're like well i know i chose this side to deal with but i don't know how to deal with it so it's a little complicated here for sure and uh, you're stuck in it for some reason let me do the emperor in your focus the two of cups the nine of cups the three of wands yeah there's love here that's for sure but love is on hold for now because this energy is at play I feel like you're trying to force yourself a little bit to focus on what's important and what's important is the aspect of love here. Um, but you are showing me a sense of why it's very hard. It's very difficult to do it right at this time, you know, to focus on this energy of love. I just saw the squirrel behind me. I'm like, what is that? Why, why did that tree grow a branch? It's a squirrel. Um, but at the same time, this is facing you right now. And it's like, this is what I have to deal with rather than, you know, as much as I'm trying to focus on what's important here, this is also important. Not in the same way, in a more nasty way, but you know that first this energy needs to be removed in order to properly focus on what's important, you know? So let's see what happened here for the Five of Wands, because I feel like that could be where it all started yeah the five of wands the five for the five of wands you get the five of pentacles the six of cups the full definitely a soul connection here that you were super open to and then something happened something something happened uh where i see a fight a major fight or something and then a split in energies and you're still remaining open to it could this have brought all of this maybe let me do the judgment card in your strength the knight of cups the ten of wands the six of pentacles <clears throat> mm. 
you're you're still very open to this, but it's very hard to find that balance between you and whoever this is. You're still showing up as being open. I'm not surprised with the energies that I see here. I'm not surprised that it, it is hard to find a, a place of balance for the situation. Let me do the lovers in the immediate future. The high priestess, the three of swords, the four of wands. There's some pain in here. There's pain in the way. Like there's beautiful energies attached to this connection. That pain, take it as a filter. So even if there are beautiful energies, the way they're going to come out is through that filter of pain that's not resolved. It's whatever's going on here. So I don't know what started it. I don't know what caused it, but it's perpetuating. And I feel like it was perpetuating all this time without you necessarily being aware of it 100%. And now it's kind of like hitting you in the face like a train for some reason. And it's it's blocking you from you know, putting out these energies that are amazing, that are attached to this connection. Because first, you need to clean up here. Not only you, I'm sure it's a, it's a common kind of, I don't think you're at this alone. I don't think so, you know. But it could be more of an individual kind of, you work on your thing, they work on theirs, and that's how you work on the connection together, kind of a thing. Maybe that's how it's playing out, but... Let me do the justice card. In the supportive energies, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. There is willingness to work on this. And this time I see it on both parts, where it's coming from both parts. And it can be worked on. It's not the end of the world. It's not, you know, it's not a make or break kind of an energy. It's definitely unpleasant and hard to work with and ew but it's doable you know as long as their intention the intention is there on both sides okay let's work on this it's gonna be worked on i don't i don't see this as you know again um breaking kind of an energy it has the potential to to be that if you know the intention was not here definitely i could see this as okay this is going south but the intention is here. The energy is being put into this to, to be worked on. Uh, at this moment in time, for some reason, you feel stuck. I feel like you'll unstuck yourself pretty fast. I don't, I don't see you staying there for too long. Because I don't see this whole situation staying here for too long, in all honesty. Um, but it's here. And it's, it's a little bit of an issue. Or a pain in the behind at this point. For the Two of Pentacles, for the energy that um, is hidden, the Strength card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. When you get stuck, because you do have the tendency to get stuck while working through these energies. When you get stuck in, oh, let me go, let's do that. Pull the energy back towards you. Go do something for yourself. Break all of this, like break out of all of whatever it is that you're doing towards this. Go have an ice cream somewhere or something that makes you feel good. You know, something small, because that's how you break it. You you bring it to you. Do something for yourself. That might help with getting you unstuck. And then, you know, kind of resuming from a more kind of an energy, more grounded. Uh, let's do the three of swords. For the Three of Swords in your hopes and fears, you get the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Uh, it's 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 a it's gonna get solved, as I said. As long as the intention is there and the determination is there to get through this, you will get through it. Uh, the thing is, I see you going back and forth with it. So in the way that it's going to get solved, it's look solved. It's looking a little bit like back and forth. Uh, so you'll have your ups and downs with this. It's not going to be smooth sailing for sure. And I'm not surprised. There's a lot of energies that are kind of coming up here that don't look the greatest. And, you know, when you think you got one done, there's another one popping up and it's like, oh my God, you know, that time, go have an ice cream, <laughs> go get yourself an ice cream or something. Um, so there's going to be a whole lot of ups and downs, times where you think, okay, yeah, we're good. And then, uh-oh, you know, so 
it's 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 a little bit of a bumpy ride here nice for the hierophant and the potential outcome you get the chariot the three of pentacles the sun yeah it's it's definitely going to get resolved uh <laughs> i like when i have a chunk of energies of oh my god and then at the end in three cards it's like oh it's gonna be okay i'm like oh really hmm nice yeah it's gonna be okay uh those are beautiful energy i mean your reading ends with the sun that's the happiest card in the deck so it's you know it's it's definitely gonna be resolved it's gonna be bumpy though hold on to your socks here because it's definitely gonna be bumpy and as i said when it gets tough when you get stuck when you get all sorts of ooh, you know and you feel that drop of sweat like uh go have an ice cream it'll be fine let's do the spirit of the animals oracle you get the snow leopard that's a beautiful one self-reliance you are strongly independent and often solitary integrity is important for your best outcome cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection let's see what else you got snow leopard Huh. man there you are all right snow leopard silence focus self-resilience solitude stealth shaman intuitive integrity independence power grace snow leopard is the lord of silent power they live in the harsh climates of the himalayans where they cloak themselves in invisibility their inner knowing is enhanced by observation if snow leopard is your ally, intuition is your gift. The more you use it, the more accurate, successful, and responsive it becomes. If you are a snow leopard person, this totem asks you to learn self-reliance. A clear path will open for snow leopard people if they watch for clues and signs from within. Feelings of tension arise when they are not aligned with intuition. Those with snow leopard as their totem need solitude. You you require time alone, and if you begin to feel stifled, you must honor this need within you before you start to move forward. I told you go get an ice cream. Snow leopard people do their best thinking, creating, and problem solving by themselves. They are master survivors. All leopards are linked with shamans, psychics, and intuitives. Snow leopards are regal, graceful, and daunting. They walk easily between the worlds, and if this is your totem, so will you. Yeah, pretty cool. You got this. You got this. You got the snow leopard with you. I mean, snow leopard and ice cream. What more do you want? Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.